For many people across South Florida still out of work, it can be a struggle to put a meal on the table for their families. But food drivers are helping those in need. Another one was held this morning in Miami, and the need was obvious. That's where we find CBS 4's Peter Dench with the latest. Peter. Well, Maribel, the food distribution here at Curtis Park just ended, but we can tell you there was nonstop activity since it opened at 10 this morning. Some people were lined up as early as three, seven hours early. Farm Share tells us that demand is higher than ever. Driving up to the food distribution, we saw a line that seemed to have no end. This is a scene along Northwest 27th Avenue just before 10 in the morning. Cars are lined up for two miles before food is given out here at Northwest 24th Avenue and 19th Street. Much needed items including cheese, bread, juice, apples, raisins, even pot roast and canned goods. Anna Maria Vargas was near the head of the line. I don't have a work and I'm a single mom. And, um my son, he's hungry. We don't have a job. We don't have anything. Life, she says, is very difficult. I need, like, chicken, meat, uh, fruit, whatever they give it to me is, is, is like, appreciate that. So do many here. Maria Pardo was here at 6.30 in the morning. Uh, it's a good thing, you know. It's help for the people. We need it. It's a lot of people. Como está, bien? Patience paid off for Anna Maria Vargas, receiving some of her food from Miami-Dade Commissioner Alex Diaz de la Portilla. It's a serious issue. I mean, we have a heavy demand. There's a lot of poverty in the city of Miami. We're doing, especially in this part of Miami. We're in the Alapata part of Miami now, but all parts of Miami. People are suffering. People are hurting, and we're doing our part. You know, one of the zip codes that has been greatly impacted by coronavirus is right now where we're at. And, you know, we see a lot of families, loss of job, loss of income. Difficult to put food on the table. Lately, demand has risen dramatically. Recently, we have seen the demand uh, basically multiply exponentially. Uh, we've always had a demand, but because of the pandemic, our demand has risen through the roof. And now, Anna Maria Vargas will have less to worry about for now. This is the best thing they can do it, you know, because it's uh, our family. We are like desperate, like for for food. And um, this is the God bless you. They have this. Well, 500 families received help here behind the food distribution with the Miami Marlins Foundation and Farm Share coming up. We'll hear from the CEO of that organization later today on how it's keeping up with this record demand. We are live in Miami, Peter Dan, CBS 4 News.